The Corsair Vengeance Series N65 Performance Gaming Mouse features a laser stream of AGO ADNS 9800 laser rated at 8200 max DPI with an aluminum construction, removable weight, side mounted sniper button to instantly reduce DPI and is rated at 20 million clicks. Coming from a fully Razer setup with the Deathstalker keyboard and the Razer Tapon mouse, I have now fully converted over to Corsair after switching to my Corsair K70 series mechanical keyboard with the Cherry MX Red switches. I felt that I needed to match my setup and purchase a mouse and after doing some research I went with a mouse that has, uses the same or a very, at least very similar laser sensor to my Razer Typon, which I've been using pretty much for the past two years. I find the laser to have a very similar feel as far as DPI. However, the Corsair M65 feels a lot more planted thanks to its aluminum construction. The aluminum construction also allows you to switch weights so you can lighten the mouse or heavy it up, you know, I don't know, or make the mouse heavier so you can have it feel more planted on your mouse pad. One of the things I would like to note is that the M65 software has a surface testing and I'm using a Corsair mouse pad and the Corsair mouse pad performs significantly worse compared to my desk without the mouse pad. So I found that very interesting to have a Corsair product um, not work as well as just, you know, uh, for a mouse surface as the board. But other than that, the mouse has performed pretty well and we'll go over a few of the features. Along with the aluminum construction like we mentioned before, we also have a sniper button which I feel like I need to talk about because I have not had a sniper button before. I mean you could program one in but not with Razer Synops to my knowledge. Um, so basically what the sniper button does is it's a red button on the left side of your mouse right on your thumb it's pretty large and when you depress it it reduces the dpi to the setting of your choice and what this is meant to do is help you focus in on a target once you've zoomed in um, say with the sniper rifle or just going down iron sights um, in the games such as call of duty or battlefield i've noticed that since i'm mostly an smg player the sniper button has not been something that I've gotten super used to, especially since I also use the gung-ho perk and rarely aim down the sights. I am more of a hip shot uh, guy, so uh, that has not come into a huge effect. Uh, I've been trying to learn how to snipe with it. Still bad at sniping, so it hasn't improved me. There's no cheating going on there. <laughs> if that can be considered cheating, I don't know. I think it still re would require you know, some sort of APM, higher APM and, and awareness to use it um, functionally. Now one of my big gripes is the mouse wheel. Coming from the Taipon where it has kind of these square blocks on it, this mouse wheel does not. While it f at first feels pretty well constructed, if you go to move it fast it seems to break loose a little bit and I'm not sure why that is. It's not a huge deal but it's something worth mentioning. The clicks are rated at 20 million clicks and they seem to work pretty fantastically. I haven't had any issues with them and we will see. The overall um, finish of it seems to be this nice on the side a little more grip than on the top. I kinda wish they would have used the side finish on the top as well to keep the grip and keep it in your hand but overall I don't find myself losing grip on the mouse uh, at all so I think that having that kind of textured side makes the mouse feel very planted in your hand and you don't have to worry about it going anywhere 
The Corsair M65 mouse also features a D on the fly DPI changer with two buttons at the center of the mouse below the mouse wheel, as well as a profile changer on in the center of those so you can switch between three profiles. The steel braided cable is very solid construction, has not tangled on me yet. However, I do have it plugged into the back of my Corsair K70 keyboard, so I am not running it all the way to my PC at this time. Speaking of that, one of the things that bothers me a lot is that the USB plug is blue and everything else on my desk is red or black. So that kind of bugs me seeing that one of the main reasons I switched to the Corsair M65 was to have, you know, some sort of symmetry and everything's Corsair as far as my peripherals go and that just did not work out as the Corsair K70 gaming keyboard has red backlighting and the Corsair M65 mouse is all blue lighting. What the hell guys, I don't understand. I realized that if I would have purchased an RGB mouse this could have probably been solved um, but I'm not even sure if they have the Corsair M65 gaming mouse in the RGB quite yet. At least not at the shop where I purchased my um, peripherals from. So that is that. I want to thank you guys for watching the video and please like, subscribe, and share the video and hope to see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.